It's time to go inside the huddle for SFMSports.net. I'm Glenn Clark alongside Stevenson women's lacrosse coach Kathy Raley. And coach, a quite the stretch that your team has been on headed into the conference tournament this weekend. It sure is. It's a whole lot of fun to win. And I think, what, seven in a row? Yep. We won seven in a row. Uh, some things really started to click about midway through the season for us. Um, we're playing at full strength right now. You know, we don't have very many people still on the injured reserve list. So that makes for a little bit better play. And, and that's been translating into wins. I know that none of that matters now because we're in the part of the year where you that's have right. to win. That's the Absolutely. way that it works. And it starts on Thursday when you all host Lebanon Valley. How uh, much do you take from having played them and beat them just a couple weeks ago? Or do you have to say to yourself, you know, we got to almost pretend like that never happened because we can expect something different this time out? Well, I, I think two different ways. Uh, you always respect your opponent, no matter who your opponent is because you don't they could have their best game ever of all the season of all time so we're always going to respect whoever we play um you know the the other old adage is it's hard to beat a good team twice yep. uh but then i look back and in the past three years we've beaten lebanon valley five times out of five times so um i fully expect to to win the game i know it's going to be a battle i know it's going to be emotional i know it's going to be intense uh but here at stevenson we love those kinds of games and we thrive in those kinds of games i know you all just celebrated a senior day just a couple of yes. days ago and, and what an emotional scene it was but now how much does it pay off for your team to have so many key parts of your team be seniors going into this stretch where you got to win every game you play well we look to those seniors to be the leadership to know that every time we step foot on the field against Lebanon Valley uh, we've beaten them uh, we know we can play together and well in the in the, when the pressure's on and we've done that you know pretty consistently so um, it, it should get make us a little more confident but every team we play here you know, at this por portion of the season they have a lot of seniors too a lot of seniors who don't want to walk away after the game on Thursday and don't want to walk away after the game on Saturday a quick turnaround potentially if you are mm -hmm. to win on Thursday mm -hmm. you would have a quick turnaround to play a championship game on the road on Saturday at a very good team presumably right. if Messiah wins right you went through this scenario a year ago <laughs> yes <laughs> do you fall back on that at all do you bring it up every coach is so different because some coaches say hey new year new team we don't talk right. about anything right Right. from last year but if you end up in that scenario do you bring it up with the girls have you maybe brought it up already the possibility of that scenario they do a lot of talking about it and yeah. they they have a lot of confidence in the fact or they they really truly believe that this is playing out exactly like 2014 um uh, me as the head coach and and my coaching staff one game at a time, yeah. one opponent at a time. Um, it doesn't hurt us at all that that happened last year. It, it can only help us that last year we dug deep and and really pulled a pulled a win out of out of um, what was not a very good first half. So um, you know we we always walk out on the field to win. There's there's no other way to step out there. Your goalie Liam Bittner mm -hmm. um, had a stretch there in the middle of the season where you know you had to turn to Maggie a bit, and there were days where she just wasn't seeing the ball right. well. But she comes in playing playing really good uh, lacrosse of late. What's changed? You know, what has allowed her to really focus in the last few weeks and be playing at such a high level coming into the uh, playoffs? She loves lacrosse. She loves to be in the cage. She's She understands that there are days that she doesn't see the ball as well as others. Uh, you know, the last year's MAC championship, uh, she didn't see any time outside of the first uh, ha the, uh, first half, I think. I don't think she played at all in the second half. So um, she's a team player as well. We've been tweaking a few things on low shots and that seems to have really paid off. Um, kind of reminded her of the skills that she already has, but maybe stepped away from a little bit. When you're a goalie for a long time, you get a little lazy with some some movements. So we've been working with her uh, on those movements this this past probably two or three weeks. And it's I think it's made a difference in the cage. Well, they will be trying to get back to the NCAA tournament for a second straight year, mm -hmm. starting this Thursday against Lebanon Valley right here at Mustang Stadium at 4 o'clock. Coach, congratulations on the success so Thank far, you. and good luck this weekend. Thank you. For more more on Stevenson's women's lacrosse program, go to GoMustangSports.com. I am Glenn Clark for Inside the Huddle, sfmsports.net.